Dozens of schools around San Diego County joined others throughout the state today in holding rallies to advocate for the safe return to youth sports. The movement is called Let Them Play, and as News 8's Shannon Handy explains, it's not just about sports. This started as a grassroots effort on Facebook, which quickly spread. Now we're here outside Scripps Ranch High School, one of several schools locally as well as throughout the state that all held rallies at the exact same time, 4 o'clock. Those out here say getting back on the field isn't just important for play, but mental health. From Scripps Ranch High School to Granite Hills and Mission Hills in San Marcos, Let Them Play rallies were held all over the county and state Friday as a plea, let kids in California compete in sports. We are of a belief our governor has a responsibility to our kids over everyone else and everything else. So please, Governor Newsom, hear us work with us. Earlier in the day, coaches, parents and players joined County Supervisor Jim Desmond to explain what life has been like without competitive sports. Claims range from deteriorating mental health to kids quitting something they once loved. As a mental health therapist, I've seen an increase in anxiety, depression, ADHD, suicide ideation, suicide attempts, and unfortunately, some of those attempts come to fruition. The common refrain we hear is, why should I get out of bed and practice and work hard if there's not going to be a game or a season? What's the point? Another concern, opportunities for college. Deserving athletes in California are losing out on scholarships to lesser athletes in states like South Carolina, New Jersey, and Utah. And what we hear from college coaches is, how can I bet on an athlete when I haven't seen them play in almost a year? In California, youth sports competition is banned until at least January 25th. Beyond that, it depends on the sport and what tier a county is in. For example, while cross country is okay in the purple tier, football and soccer can only be played competitively in the orange. This group maintains there's a way to make it work safely. The data that says the children are safer in our structured, supervised environments than they are hanging out with their friends. Because if you think parents have been keeping their teenagers locked up since March, you're lying to yourself. They're doing all sorts of things that help spread the virus. When they're with us, they have face masks. They're socially distanced. Governor Newsom, please let us play. And that last person you heard from is a high school student here who actually just signed to play football at Duke University. He says he wants to speak out for other students who may not have the chance.